It's sort of an enigma at this point. An enigma bigger than Jordan Spieth. What Rory McIlroy has shown this year's spectacular rounds redolent of 2014 coupled with horrendous spells is baffling. McIlroy, on the one hand, is doubling down on his elite long game. The Ulsterman is already second in driving distance, averaging 313.7 yards this season. His SG, off the T0938, is fourth best on the tour. Comparably, Rory McIlroy is 123rd in SG, approach to green O, 176 and 96th in greens in regulation 68, 13. The four-time major winner is desperate to complete his career Grand Slam. A major drought of 10 years, coupled with near misses last year, has left him high and dry. Last year, the Northern Irishman played only five events before the Masters. This year, he has added to more to gear up for Augusta. And yet, his iron game has left him frustrated and threatens to pour cold water into his master plan. McElroy has identified the problem but has yet to find a solution. At Bay Hill, McElroy was one of the best performers off the tee, gaining 4.67 strokes compared to the field. That progress was, however, undone by his poor short game and irony. McElroy was losing almost the same number of shots from fairways. At the Arnold Palmer Invitational, the Northern Irishman hit only 40 of 72 greens in regulation. To make matters worse, McElroy was also struggling with putting. His 1.83 putts per gur put him in the 51st spot in the 69-man field. Not that the world's second-best golfer isn't aware. I feel like I found a good feeling with the putting the last two days as well. It's just the iron play that's let me down. Also, it's not that he is nonchalant. McElroy is grinding on the course after the round late into the evening. He has identified the problem as well. There's a strange dichotomy in his swing. In his own words, it's hard because the longer clubs, the woods, feel so good but the irons don't feel that good. I feel like I'm having to put two differing swings on the woods and the irons at the minute, which is a struggle. But the Northern Irishman has yet to find a definite solution. At the Players' Championship, McElroy gained four strokes from the tee to the green, hitting 51 of 72 greens in regulation. But at the same time, his SG around the green was minus 1.471. So, compared to Scotty Scheffler, McElroy was losing around five shots. As a further sign of a roller coaster ride, McElroy made 26 birdies at the players, but only two rounds were under par. A comparison with the 27 year old is inevitable, not least because Scheffler is the reigning world number one. Even Scheffler was in a position similar to where McElroy is hanging right now. Although, for the former Masters champion, his bane was the pudding which improved dramatically after switching to a mallet putter. Ironically, that suggestion came from McElroy himself. While McElroy was banking heavily on his long game, Jack Nicholas thinks that might be causing the problem for the 34-year-old.